I came to Toronto because I wanted to get a good grounding in internal medicine. Uh, but I also knew that when I started my residency in Toronto that I aspired to be a geriatrician. Uh, and so with that grounding, I, I felt it gave me the confidence and the skills to really enter a geriatrics fellowship. Um, with new knowledge I learned uh, during my residency around policy work and, and clinical work that I could start thinking uh, more broadly about what were the models of care and what were the things I could do to impact in a significant way the way we care for older adults. When working with uh, my older patients, I think I get exposed all too often to, I think, the failings of, of a healthcare system we desire to have. And, uh, and so th this is really what motivates me on a daily basis. Each of my patients teaches me something new every day. I think what we've been able to change uh, is the aspect that geriatrics is, you know, is an excellent profession to be in. It's a profession that's very much needed within the world of medicine. And I think increasingly we're seeing now that not only is it becoming more respected, but it's becoming incredibly valued. It's humbling to think I'm the first recipient, um, but, uh, but I think it, at the same time, it will, uh, this will be a, a phenomenal award, I think, moving forward to really recognize a lot of the young talent that we have um, and a, a lot of the people, a lot of my younger colleagues who are doing some really, really amazing things. Mm -hmm.